Now the side pieces are eight inches long. Our square just happens to be eight inches long as well. So if I hook the square on there, eight inches is gonna be right here. Now the square is kind of hard to get perfect over a long distance like this. So I'm just gonna put my mark. I'm gonna turn my square this way. And I'm gonna draw that line all the way across. And I'm gonna put a little X here. Okay. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do that on this side as well. I'm cutting both sides. So eight inches right there. Let's put that mark all the way across. And we are going to do this piece a little differently. We're not going to use the miter saw. We're going to use a handsaw. So let's go use that. So we've got a couple different styles of saw you can use. We've got the Japanese pull saw, which works well. And we've got our standard saw here which also works fairly well, and this is called a miter box. Okay, so we're gonna put the piece of wood in there, that's gonna hold it nice and square, and we're just gonna go back and forth and cut it. Um, please be very careful with these pull saws. The teeth are very easy to break, and as you can see, this is toast. That blade is completely ruined. Uh, we're going to set this in here, and same thing as we did with the, the miter saw. We want to cut on the one side of the saw, of our mark, sorry. So I'm going to just set this in here. I'm going to line it up about right there, and we're going to start cutting. We don't want to be sawing on the vise, and we don't want to saw through and hit the metal underneath. So just be aware of that. And with the pull saw, if I try and cut right now, it's going to pull my piece of wood over here. So I want the wood on this side. The other saw is a push. The teeth are facing the opposite direction and we want it over here. So be aware, whichever saw you decide to use, we're just going to cut. like that there's one piece we're gonna spin it around I've got that side marked as well we're gonna do the exact same thing okay there's our two pieces we can check them see how close I got and it looks like I'm pretty close I have to sand just a little bit off here all right so if you've decided to use regular nails not the nail gun we're gonna start assembling some pieces uh, you're gonna need a paper towel you're going to need one of these vices and these vices have this little piece that pops up. We're going to need our hammer and we're going to need some wood glue. So we're going to open the wood glue. They tend to dry out. So if you just get some pliers and kind of peel the dried off glue off of there. You should be able to then pop the lid open like that. Get some glue going down there. I'm going to put glue along these two edges. So I'm just going to do one at a time. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. I'm going to spread it out just with our finger. Wipe the extra off. We have to make sure that these lines match. So this is right. This is not, okay? 
So I'm going to set this down. I should have done the other one first so you can see. But I've got this pushing against the piece that sticks up. I've got this flat on the table. I'm going to line up the edges. And I'm keeping everything nice and square. We can even take on this first one. We can set our triangle square in here. And uh, that'll help us get everything accurate. Making sure it's right where we want it to be. And then I'm going to take my hammer. Okay, I've got it started. We're just going to check and make sure everything's good. Uh, just gonna... Okay, there's our first one. Doesn't look too bad. I'm going to twist it just a little bit there. Now we're going to do the other side so I got to add a little bit more glue. And spread it around just a little bit. Same process. Make sure the lines match, the lines are on the bottom. Pushing that against right there. And lining that up. And on this one, we just got to kind of watch because our triangle isn't going to fit in there. So as long as we get this side here lined up, holding everything nice and square, everything's down tight against the table. And I'm just sliding the hammer on the table. Looks good. Let's put that nail in the rest of the way. Okay. So we're going to let that glue dry. And while we let that glue dry, we're going to measure this up so we can cut out our bottom piece.